Guys, it makes me vibes here. If you're new to my channel, I make music content, vlogs. I pretty much just speak whatever's on my mind. Look, I want you to understand. I just want to make a quick video. Sometimes you're gonna have to be solo. And I mentioned this in my video I posted the other day about how sometimes you gotta go through your spiritual journey by yourself, but you gotta rock it solo dolo. I don't know who needs to hear this, but for me, I was living in Louisiana and I had to move to Texas and for my work. So I moved here and probably for the first like five months, it's by myself. I mean, I probably made one friend. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call him that, but one friend, you know, if that. So like the first six months I was solo dolo. You know, a lot of times we get depressed or we get sad, you know, and we feel like, man, we need to be out here, especially, you know, I was like this in high school and college, you know, I was seeking other people validation. And so I was very, um, very, I wanted to be outgoing, even though I know I was more so introverted. I was like, I wanted some friends, you know, because I was tired of being by myself, just me and my dog. So I'm out here like trying to hang out with this person, trying to hang out with this person. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you just got to be solo dolo. You got to. Um, sometimes it's needed for growth. You know what I mean? Like you should thank your ancestors that you don't have all these people surrounding with you. Because a lot of times the people that be in your clique, the people that be in your small group or even big group, just like what happened to one of my coworkers, they'll go behind your back and talk. They'll talk behind your back. Right? They'll talk behind your back to like, the whole company, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll do that, they'll do that snake stuff. You know what I mean? And so it is better, as cliche as it sounds, it's better to be by yourself alone or have that one true friend than to be in the crowd of people. You know what I mean? And still feel alone. And I just wanna encourage you, I don't know who needs to hear this, be grateful that you're by yourself. It's thundering outside and lightning, I don't know if you can see that, but be grateful that you're by yourself. I understand wholeheartedly how hard it can be how sometimes lonely it can be what i did was feel the times that i did feel lonely which was rarely i more so went and filled it with hobbies so i go play pool i go to the movies by myself i go eat by myself and some people might be like oh that's lame but no like that's where you get to be like one-on-one -on -one with yourself you get to find out you get to do some soul searching and find out what you really like you know what i mean like you, you get to do those things, you know? And then when somebody else comes along, you already have your certain set of hobbies and goals and things you want to achieve. And you're not just totally diving into what they have to do and focus on them. You know what I mean? Like you have to take that time. Uh, I used to look back in college and feel very lacking as a person. I felt like, man, I don't have any friends. You know, I might have one or two, or really one, but it was it was kind of lonely. I'm not gonna lie because I was seeking for everybody's validation because I wanted to be liked. You know, I went to a private college that was maybe 50 black people, uh, maybe 60 black people out of like almost 600. So it was really less than 10%. And so, you know, trying to find that crowd of people was kind of hard for me, but you know, I look back now and I'm like, man, I'm glad that I had that time alone because it allowed me to do soul searching. You know, the reason why you see my channel, you see me skydiving, surfing, you see me doing these different things, hiking and canoeing and kayaking and different things is because for the longest I sheltered myself and I was, I was at a point where I was afraid to show my personality because I felt like people were going to judge me. And that's also why I didn't make friends. You know, now I'm at a point where excuse my language, I just don't give a fuck. So now I'm I'm at a point now, if I don't have, you know what I mean, someone around me, I'm fine. Like I'm cool, just either me or just me and my dog. You know, I enjoy my solitude. Why? Because I understand, yeah, I might not have these people or this person around me, but I know that regardless, like from here until the day I die, I gotta love myself. I gotta be with myself. Like they can come and go, you know, unfortunately, you know, even through death or whatever, but you, you have to be by yourself your entire life. And knowing that kind of has helped ground me and kind of make me understand like, hey, dude, you have to just relax and you have to keep moving forward. Like, yeah, it's gonna be some times where it's like, hey, it's quiet around the house. You know what I mean? 
But like, again, those hobbies, that's the thing. You do the soul searching alone so you can find the things that really you love, that you can connect with, you know? And then whether you ride a bike, whether you like to hike, whether you, you know, different things, different subs, you like anime, there's people online who will connect with you and you guys can talk, you know what I mean? You can have that online community and you guys can start to meet up and form bonds and actually have, you know, um, a, a real, I guess, connection into 3D, right? Not just online, but it starts with you realizing what you love, you know? I don't know who needs to hear this. I just wanted to make this short video and let you know, like, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's okay if you don't have any friends. It's okay if you only have one um, or you have none, okay? Because again, I'm here. If you want to email me and talk to me, I'm down. I'm down to text you. I'm down to email you back, you know? But it's okay. Just take this time, this period right now. Thank the creator. Thank your ancestors. Thank that you're not around the phoniness, the fakeness. Thank God that you are where you exactly need to be right now. You are exactly where you need to be right now, okay? All right? So just, just realize that. You are exactly where you need to be right at this moment, okay? So take this time, find out who you are, and I guarantee you, once you find those things, it'll become easier and you'll make some friends, okay? All right.